we're just going to go a drive in our Mercedes M Class. It's the 350 CDI Blue Efficiency Grand Edition, and uh, it's the automatic version. Um, very, very good spec, good colour. It's chromite black, metallic. It has um, black leather porcelain piping, and it's got the uh, contrasting stitching as well. Lovely interior, looks great. Kind of black wood, ebony wood. Really, really good spec. Um, reversing camera. You've got sat nav. It's Bluetooth compatible, so you can sync your phone with it. And uh, I'll just take you uh, up the road. Lovely shaped steering wheel, bags of room in the car, just sitting in it you feel really really safe and comfortable. Got a great presence on the road, big car. these first came out I was sales manager at Mercedes-Benz and they took us on a driving day I don't think I've quite been as frightened going over sheer drops in the in the cars uh, through tunnels going sideways at virtually a 45 degree angle you felt like the car was going to tip over it didn't and of course they've improved them since then so they, they drive a heck of a lot better better engines more economical engines got climate control xenon headlamps high pressure headlamp wash got heated seats height adjustable and uh, reach adjustable steering wheel there and I keep doing this but it's got folding door mirrors power folding door mirrors there you go I think they must only operate at less than 30 miles an hour or something really like the design of the steering wheel Paddle shifts here, you've got a speed limiter, and you've also got cruise control. Now there are, there are a few four-wheel drives, or a few kind of versions of four-wheel drives. The little ones that I don't know now the use and ornament. Then you've got stuff like um, Range Rover Evoque, which I've been using for the last few days. Uh, that feels more like a car. This feels like a truck, but in a good way. Very, very smooth on the road. I think it's a seven speed automatic gearbox. 20 inch alloys. got a reversing camera and parking sensors but it's also got the um, parktronic visual display in the front and the back because even when you're looking through the reversing camera and you're reversing and there is something sometimes you don't know which side it is or, or where you need to get away from so the parktronic just tells you that as well
also got a display here on the dash. I've just got the sat nav set to map, which is quite handy if you if you know whereabouts you're going, but you don't you're not familiar with the roads. It'll tell you when there's any bends coming up that you should be aware of or roundabouts. Or and there's also a display in between the instrument cluster here, in between the rev counter and the speedo. So that's telling me what road I'm on and which direction I'm heading. Wipes are on the left. We've got headlights on the right. You've also got an automatic setting if you if you so wish. CD radio. And as I mentioned before, I think it is Bluetooth hands-free. This is more about the feel of a Range Rover. on this model on the Grand Edition. It's got the AMG grille and this is the AMG steering wheel. You've also got side steps and they're not just the kind of bolt-on side steps, they look like they're actually made to be part of the car and designed with the car as opposed to just like bolted on the side. So it is a really really good looking car. So it's finished in chromite black. Um, Throughout the years in Mercedes-Benz they've had several different blacks. You've, there was green black metallic which kind of looked green as it would imply. Blue black, black metallic which looked blue. Now we've got chromite black. I'm not sure but it looks more bluey than blacky especially when the sun's on it. So it, it, it's a good colour. One criticism of this car, it would be the fact that the gear stick is actually on the steering column. So, to park or to put it in neutral, you click the end of it just here. To put it in reverse, you knock it up and drive, knock it down. So, you can override it with the paddle shifts at any time you want. However, particularly when it's just spitting outside. I have a tendency to press the end of this um, gear stick to just knock my wipers on. Of course all that does is knocks it in neutral and then I wonder why I'm not going anywhere. But I dare say after a few days driving it consistently that uh, you would actually learn, or I would hope you would learn, where, where the wiper stalk is. It really is, it's great to drive. Brakes are fantastic too, massive discs on it, massive calipers, pulls you up nice and steady. And it's a heavy car this, so it does uh, take a lot of scrubbing off. Uh, we, just in case anybody who's watching, we are being waved through here by a workman and I haven't just gone through a red light. So don't report me.
been using the Range Rover Evoque. Lovely car, it's got absolutely every extra on it. Um, but I do prefer the drive of this and the feel of this, so as soon as I've got my stuff in it now, I'm, I'm, I think I'll carry on using it. Got electric seats as well. Particularly that bump there, it's a massive bump, it's a big pothole around the grid, and the, the Mercedes just takes it in its stride. I hardly felt it, no bouncing about the road, just floats over it. have a bit of a soft spot for Mercedes-Benz. I've, I've worked in all sorts of new car franchises and uh, I think possibly Mercedes-Benz was the only one where you, when you saw your customer coming back you didn't have to hide from him in case there was something wrong because you knew the car would go out. The next time you'd see him was like 60,000 miles later when he wanted to buy another one. Uh, really, really good cars. Fantastic model lineup now. It, uh, it wouldn't do for me to be one because I, I struggled when we just had the AC E and M class, oh, an S class, of course, an SL. But nowadays, with all these GLs and CLs, and my brain would be full. Again, bumpy road. Merc just wafts along. We're doing 1500 revs at 50 miles an hour. Just in drive. Click the paddle there.
just here. also that the Mercedes is very good at is um, engine braking for an automatic.
that's it, we're back at Grosvenor Garage website www.ggcars.co.uk So click the end there, that puts it in park.